be determined to sell a lot. So thank you so much. God bless you. All right, give it up to her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give her, give, to give her a round of applause. A beautiful, befitting round of applause. All right, um, right about now, we are going into business. Can you tell your neighbor business? Business. business. Um, today, I'll be um, showing you some things that are very, very important. I want to show you how you can do what? Make those dreams a reality. Who want to make his or her dream a reality? If you are sitting here in the hall and you want a system that will ensure you um, progress in those dreams. You know, a lot of us, we had amazing dreams and um, of course, we were forgotten about them. So we want to show you what can make the dream a reality. Now, guys, I will sincerely tell you that after God, after God, okay, money is next to oxygen. I don't know if I'm communicating. The first thing you need in life is God. Do I have witness? The first thing I need is God. I don't know about you. And the next thing I need is oxygen to breathe, to be sustained, to live life. And after oxygen, what else do you think you need? I don't know about you, but I need money. Can you say money? money. So you can be so um, rest assured that money is very important. Of course, I'm a Christian. And um, I know about the verse in the Bible that said money is a defense. Money is a sheet. Money is a protector. Money can sheet away rubbish from your life. So ladies and gentlemen, I need money. I don't know about you. Do you need money? Yes. So if you need money, then I'm talking to the right persons. I'm talking to the right personalities today. So if you need money, then you can think of owning your dream home. A dream home. These are dreams. If you have money, you can think of having a luxury ride. You can see this. Can you see that? Who love this kind of ride? I love it. Can you see this? This is machine. There's a difference between a motor and machine. Don't make any mistake. This kind of car, if you wake up in the morning, you don't pray too much. You say, hallelujah, the Lord is good. But if you are driving a moto, before you come out, the prayer point is usually different. You say, I cover the tire with the blood of Jesus. I cover the engine. I cover the bonnet. Why are you covering it? It is because you are not sure of the destination you are going to. So if you have something like this, you pray, you pray less. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? Is that not amazing? Good. So, it is only money that can give you good vacation. I know of some people, 10 years, the highest place they've traveled to is Jebode. <laughs> Hello. You say, I, I just want to go. I just feel like going to the village. It is not true. <laughs> it is not true. Can you tell your neighbor it is not true? <laughs> now, when you ask them, why do you want to go to the village? They say, as long as I saw my grandma. And I just want to say hi to my grandmom. So I just feel like I love her so much. If you love her so much, you can take her to Europe, Spain, Canada. Isn't that love better? Yeah. So why are you deceiving me? Tell your neighbor, don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. You need quality vacation, quality travel. So tell yourself, I need it. Beautiful. So. What about amazing education? Today, lack of education has put us somewhere. A lot of us don't know that as we are sitting today, we are acquiring education. We are acquiring knowledge, and knowledge gives us power. So you will need quality education. Now, a lot of us were not privileged to have quality education like this. Quality education. Guess what? We admire people who have, you know, befitting education. You see them, you know, the kind of school, there's a kind of name they call it. You, you, the kind of school we attended, if I mention the name, oh my God. 
That kind of school where teacher they go, after you don't punish student for school, if they go out, they go they trace in step, make a pass here. You know that kind of school? Do you understand that kind of school? Such so school, if you go late, the teacher will do what? Lock the gates, don't enter. Remain there. And the kind of student in that school, they'll be waiting. At the end of school, at the, at the end of closure, those kind of students, they will lock the gate outside. And now let's know who he go paying. You know that kind of school? You don't lock your own inside, Abby. Shabby, you go go out. We have locked our own outside. We don't need that kind of education. Tell your neighbor we don't need that kind of education. We don't need it. So guys, we need quality education. We need quality education. This is the kind of school I'm talking about. This kind of school, you get to a stage, you see the brain, the head will be hot. The shirt will be doing overheat. You pull the shirt. You say, why do you say, auntie, my head it hurts. <laughs> we don't need it. We need quality education. <laughs> don't we? We do. So, now, the truth is that we need to ask ourselves sincere questions. Why are these dreams not coming to pass? Why are we not achieving these dreams? This kind of dream that we so much deserve in life, we don't get them anymore. So we need to understand why these dreams are not coming to pass. The simple reason why the dreams are not coming to pass is the decision we have taken and where we are focused on. A lot of us have taken decisions um, that has landed us somewhere we don't bargain for. But take note, our dreams are amazing dreams. So I want to ask us here today, can you help me ask your neighbor, are you ready to take the right decision? Yes. No, ask the neighbor with love. Not be like say you the verse for him. Just uh, ask him with love. Show love. It's good to show love, isn't it? Are you ready to take the, the right decision today? Yes. You can take a look at it. Say, all you need is to do what? All you need to make your dream come true is to do what? Have the ability to take the right decision and focus correctly. So, for that to come to pass, you need to first discover yourself. So you're going to also ask your neighbor, are you ready to discover yourself? No, now. I said love. Today is love. We are preaching love. Ask the neighbor with love again. Are you ready to discover yourself? What was the response? Now, a lot of people have forgotten who they are. If you ask them, who are you? The economy will make you not even remember your name. That is correct. Hello. I asked a guy, I said, are you a male or a female? He was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you forget if you are a male or a female? If the economy has not really battered you. So we need to really know, we need to define who we truly are. Now today is going to be more of... Um, you know, it's going to be a little bit educative. It's going to be a little bit um, personal. You're going to take it personal. Nobody's going to dance your dance for you. Okay? Now, if you must be successful in life, you must first know who you are, where you are, and what? What do you want? This is very important. If you must be successful in life, you must first, first, know who you are. Understand where you are and also know what you want. A lot of us have big dreams. Big dreams. But we find ourselves in a system that can never make that dream come to pass. Do you agree with me? Yes. A lot of us, we want to be successful but we have not been able to program ourselves in the system of what will make us successful. So, one, you need to discover who you are. Two, where you are and what you want. If you are writing, you can write down because I'm going to be a little bit um, detailed about this. We have five categories of people existing today. As you are seated down here today, I don't know where you belong. We have the very poor, we have the poor, we have the middle class, we have the rich, and we have the very rich. 
Can you get that? I take it again. We have the very poor, we have the poor, we have the middle class, we have the rich, and we have the very rich. Now, these five categories of people have been segmented into three. It is the segmentation that puts you where you are, not your parental background, not where you come from, not how beautiful you are, not how tall or handsome you are. So I'm going to make you understand what separates you from being very poor, poor, middle class, rich, and very rich. Remember I said, this set of people have been broken down into three sets. And the first set of people are the people who are very poor and poor. They are in the same class. They romance each other. Am I communicating? Yes. The poor and very poor, they romance each other. They are in the same place. They are in the same WhatsApp group. <laughs> <laughs> And what made them to be in the same place, it is because they think alike. They think of how they can only survive. They just want to survive. If you show them anything beyond survivor, they, don't, they cannot, they, in fact, they cannot fit into their understanding. They want to think of how they can get three square meals. They, they, in fact, they are in a panic mood. They just want to survive. They just want to break out of, you know, how can I survive? And this kind of people, they are usually in this WhatsApp group. The poor and very poor. As I'm talking today, I'm communicating, I'm talking to someone. You don't need anyone to tell you how you think. You know how you think, right? You know how you think. So I'm communicating to someone. So now the other group, the middle class are the middle, the middle class are the people between um, those guys who have escaped the, uh, the WhatsApp group of the poor and very poor, they just escaped. And they escape because they think differently. Now, how do they think? They think of how they can be comfortable. So, such people, you'll see them if they can own one car and maybe a house, they are there, they can feed. Of course, you know, you see them in the society, they feel very comfortable. That is the middle class. Then the final WhatsApp group I'm going to share with you, this is a group that contained the rich and the very rich. Now, the first WhatsApp group, the second WhatsApp group, and the third WhatsApp group, what group would you want to be? Please, let me choose the third one. Can somebody help me raise my leg? I want to add the two legs. I don't know what will happen, Sha. I think we love the last group. Do you want to be among the last group? If you want to be among the last group, let me see a wiper. Good. I wish I can video you now so that we'll send it to God. Some people, look, let me tell you. Not everybody that will be rich. There is nothing you do about it. They are there, they are there. In fact, go and fast and pray on behalf of them. If you they drag them, they will hold something. I know they go anywhere. So those people just leave them where they are. But for those of us who want to be very rich, who want to be rich, you must think, you must think about your future. You must think about how to invest in your future. You must think about how your five years from now, where you want to be. Can you see that? They think about their future and how they can be financially free. Financial freedom is very important. If you are not financially free, there is no matter how good you are, you cannot express yourself. <laughs> you don't see a person when we say, never feed eat well. You tell person, say, don't worry, I will feed you. I, I, don't worry, I'll take care of you. A blind man does not lead a blind man. So if you want to be financially free, let me see your wiper. I want to be financially free. That means you must think of the future, not now. 
a lot of people seated here today, we have been focusing too much on now. I need to be honest with us. I was there. Some years ago, I thought that it is work hard that gives you wealth. I never know there is anything think and grow rich. I never knew. Now, while you are working so hard, you are getting more exhausted. In a very short while, that shall die. <laughs> I don't know if it's correct, but it's leading somewhere. Because... <laughs> Don't mind me, that's how my character be. But I'm sure we are connecting. Are we connecting? Yes. Now, I told a story some days ago, someone who really wanted to make money, and um, he was working 24 hours. He said, I'm very strong. Oh. Earlier, you see the person very vibrant. But gradually, that energy will start draining. Say, I am strong. Oh. Now lie, something is happening. So the people who must be in this class are people who think and grow rich. It's not work hard. If it's all about working hard, I don't know if you know anybody, the group of people that work harder in the society. You can see the truck pushers, they work very hard. You see bricklayers, they work very hard. They carry, you see them working very hard. But the simple truth is that that cannot put them in this class. So I need people who can think. Think about the future. Think about how to invest in people. Because the simple truth is that you cannot be in this class and never understand what investing in people means. So you must invest in people because right now money is in people. So I want you to think like anybody you see, you are seeing billions in the person. Can you think like that? You see this way, you see this person, what's doing a business of what um, 20 billion? Like my brother used to say, don't be afraid of mentioning those billions because as much as you can mention, you can, you can, as, you can achieve. So this person, I think, who can do a business of 20 billion. I want to be your partner. Let's partner together. The person don't know what, what you are seeing in him or her. I told us a story of a young man who walked up to me and said, um, I'm just um, the low earner in the society. And guess what? I'm not sure I can be a millionaire. And I said, you can be a millionaire. And obviously, I showed him his next ladder. In two weeks, he had already earned over one million, and he went mad. So friends, you need to understand who you are. You need to discover who you are. And let me discourage you today. Never, ever think that this economy will be better for you to get better. I repeat, never, ever, think that the present economy we are in today will be better for you to get better. But I will tell you that for the economy to get better, you need to get better. Who needs to get better? It is you. For things to get better, it is you who need to get better. So imagine that you think rightly, you think correctly, and you've been able to make 20 members of your family to think rightly, and they are making good income, residual income. Are you an hero? You project. Out of that, you went into your neighborhood, and everybody there, they are making millions. Are you becoming very good? So you don't struggle to be good. <laughs> a lot of people say, I'm a good man. You know now, you know I'm a good man. No, you act it. You act it. There is energy in, in acting. You don't tell people you are good. So, if you want to be truly rich, then you must think of how to solve people's problems. Do we have problems in the society? Can you see problems all around? So you should position yourself in helping people's problems. The economy is sick today. Financial insecurity everywhere. Job insecurity. What if I show you a system that can enable you to help people to be financially free? Are you solving people's problem already? So you must think of how to solve people's problem. People who must think about the future, they, they have in mind what people want. 
They keep looking for how to get the right thing to solve people's problem. Why other people who are in the problem, they are thinking of survivor. Now, what brings you from thinking about the future is just understanding that this is not where I ought to be. So there must be a paradigm shift. Can we take this together? The difference between the rich and the poor is what? Is the way they think. True wealth starts from what? Let's go on now. Proverb what? I'm going to take offering after this verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't I look like a pastor? A rich offering now, you don't need to run. So if the Bible says that the way you think, so you will be. And in the book of Third John, the Bible said, I wish above all things that you prosper. So everything that you need to prosper and be in the right life you want to live has been given to you. The ability to understand how to do that is all yours. So I'm going to show you the mindset of the rich people, okay? The middle class, like I told you, we have the poor, the, the poor and the less poor and the rich. Now I'm going to show you their mindset. Now, this set of people, they think of security. How I can survive. Have I mentioned that to you before? Survivor, security. Hey, I, I, if I don't eat today, tomorrow I will die. Why the other set of people, they are thinking of how to build business, how to buy business, how to own business. Now, these other people, they are thinking of how to do what? Money to pay what? House rent. The other people, what are they thinking? A big house or home. How they can own a home. Now, remember I said that there is a difference between a motto and a ride. That is how there is also the dif a difference between a home, a house, and a home. A home is an edifice. Mansion. So why other people are thinking of how to get how much to pay rent, these people, they are thinking of what? How to own a home. Now, these people are thinking of how to save money. I want to save. They have the mentality, if I get ten, let me save it too. These people are thinking of how to what? Invest money. The way you think. Now, the rich are what? Why the other people, what do they do? They are generous. So friends, I want you to think this way. Write it down. And anytime you are trying to be greedy, you are, ah, can I get money to, you will know that there is somewhere you go to and you have a drift of mind. You have a, a different thinking. Are we communicating? So, this is very important. A lot of us today, we are con concentrating on our speed and effort, speed and effort. A lot of us, wherever you are watching me from, we are getting it wrong because we are concentrating on our speed and efforts. But take a look at this. We need a new direction. Stop thinking of how, how can I survive? So let me just do this. I am afraid of the unknown. He said, your direction in, in life is more important than what? Your speed and effort. Have you ever seen someone going to Abuja? And he went to the garage, the motor park, and boarded a vehicle going to Anambra State. Who is from Anambra here? <laughs> now remember, the man wants to go to where? Abuja. Now, he was in a vehicle. He started putting more force, emphasis on the driver to put in, he said, driver, speed up. Put in a lot of speed, speed up. Now the driver obeyed and ignited the motion. While the driver is going, he kept putting more effort. Now they will arrive somewhere. Who knows where they will arrive? 
they will never arrive in Abuja. So a lot of us never arrived in our destination, yet we are putting a lot of speed and effort. We worked so hard. The first time I came to Lagos, I almost ran. 3 a.m., there was already traffic. Where are these people going? Where are they going? So I thought the world has ended. I was hearing boom, 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 boom. I said, what did they happen? 3 a.m., I came out, there was traffic. Where are they going? Who knows where they are going? Walk. I did not put in effort. A lot of effort. But the truth is that I put it to you that the wealthiest men in the world today, they are not rich as a result of job. They are not as a result of job. So why put in all these efforts? And you will not also fall in the WhatsApp group of the wealthiest people in the world. Hello? Take a look at the wealthiest people we see. We have um, the study of um, Dangote. I can tell you that a lot of us today, we are just tied to the efforts, the income we make due to our effort we put in. True or false? If you go to work 30 times in a day, you are paid 30 times. If you don't go to work 30 times, you go to work 15 times, you get a lot of query and pr probably you may not be paid. Is that not correct? But there are some people who, from the comfort of their home, they are earning billions because they have system put in place. So that is what I want to share with us today. And that can only happen with the help of network marketing. Network is connecting, connecting someone, showing someone how the person can leverage his effort. And today I'm going to show you one of the biggest real estate network marketing company in the world. I was thinking you would clap. One of the biggest. And I'm here with my partner who has a special mandate to depopulate the kingdom of poverty. Can we give him a round of applause? It's a special mandate. That mandate cannot come from any hard place. Oh. Do you get it? So it's going to show with you, it's going to share with you how you can understand a linear income and compare it to a residual income. Now, first, a linear income is an income that enables you to earn whatever effort you put in, like as I've explained. But residual income enables you to earn from the effort of so many people, and you are wealthy, you are relaxed. So a residual income and a linear income, which one do you prefer? Residual income. So we're going to share with you today the residual income system. A system that says you will put little effort. Now I'm going to go back and show you what um, a linear income is. A linear income, this is your effort. You are working, 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 working. The day you stop working, your income drops. This is your income. The income is coming in as much as you go out every day, they pay you the salary. But if you don't go, work, go to work, what happened? The income drops. But let me show you what residual income is. Residual income, this is your effort. The effort of you coming here today. The effort of you saying, oh, I will do this business. The effort of you talking to one or two, three friends. And at the end of the day, your income triggers and there is a massive growth. So that is what a residual income can do for you. So for now, you are going to put in a lot of work to study and understand. You know, a lot of people say, I don't understand how it works. Come and learn. Come and learn. So, Robert Kiyosaki was able to explain this that a lot of people who are earning linear income, they are the left-hand side of the quadrant. That is why they remain there. They put in a lot of effort, they put in a lot of time, they put in a lot of energy. And guess what? They don't get what they bargain for. But you are advised to move to the right-hand side of the quadrant. That is where you see big business owners. People who think of the future. People who invest in their future. People who sees what the future is all about. And they start making money, a residual income, leverage income, 
and you can see them invest and relax. Let me tell you, Dangote will keep investing, whether you like it or not. Do you agree with me? That's it. And the other set of people, we keep running to him for a job. It is the way we think. So, because we don't have time, I'm going to be in a hurry. Opportunity always comes in disguise. If you are seeing this picture for the first time, what can you see? The vision to wealth creation is always not very clear. Someone must show you the clarity. So I'm sure a lot of us will be having a doubt. Are you sure this is what I'm seeing? Are you sure it is clear? But I can help you make it clear now. So what can you see now? Is the vision not clearer? Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, you need someone to make you understand how this system works. And we are here to show it to you. Now, the rich are on the right side of life because they do what? The network and the leverage. The network and the leverage. Check the likes of Dangote, the wealthiest people you know today. They have network of people. They leverage on the network of people. And you see a very stacked poor person saying, I don't like networking. That is the reason why you are poor. You got to understand the ideology behind networking. Networking is connecting someone with essential commodity. You look for your lynch. People who need to own home. Do you know people who want to own home? Who would like to own home? Do you know people who would like to own real estate? So if you think of connecting these people and they get what they want, you get what you want. So when you have the idea of, ah, I, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want, I don't like network, it's because you don't understand the system. Take note, it is a 21st century way of doing business, whether you like it or not. Every organization, they are already going into the system. Even our banking sectors, they are already going into the system. So if you want to survive in this economy, tell your neighbor, learn how to swim. A lot of us say, no, it's not necessary. The economy is already drowning. The economy is drowning. So for you to survive, you must learn how to swim. I want to give you a picture of what I mean by the economy is drowning. Imagine we are all in a room right now, and then um, we slept in this room, and um, as early as 7 a.m., you saw water started, you know, there was a time, there was flood everywhere. I don't know if you noticed that. Imagine it never stopped and it was coming, it has covered a lot of people. There are some set of people that will survive, who knows? Those who can swim. And there are other set of people that can as well survive. The other set of people are people who can quickly learn how to swim. You hear somebody say, can it? You say, how far you did it? say, hey. See, if you do your hand like this, take and go back. Do the other one, you go swim. Say, hey. Are you swimming? Say, yes. can it will survive. But those who say, ah, I cannot do it. Oh, I don't know. What are you saying? They will drown. So tell your neighbor, are you ready to survive? Then learn how to swim. So, friends, the only way you can understand is understanding what Esper says about network. He said the richest people in the world, they look for and build network. Other people, what are they doing? They look for work. This is a thin line. This is a thin line. Just a thin understanding. So, if you are ready to build your economy, this is Bill Gates. He said, if I will be given a chance to start all over again, I would choose network marketing. So guys, tell your neighbor, you are the right place. I want to show you the magic on how you earn from this system. Please be very attentive to this. And I want you to compare it to salary. What I'm going to share with you right now, compare it to salary. For you to earn more, in salary, you have to bring somebody down. Do you agree with me? You, they will not add little money. But here, no. You work with people. Imagine that this is you. Can you say this is me? 
and you want to show five friends about this amazing opportunity. The network system says, you begot five. And the five also want to begot their own five. How many are they now? 25. Now, the 25 begot their, twi- their fives. How many are they? Isn't it growing? Now, the 125 also begotted their five. You get six, 25. It grows like that. Now, what you will tell them will be, will be taught. You will be taught what you will tell them. You don't need to go and learn or go to school or whatever. Show them an amazing opportunity, what they need, and they will come on board. And when they do that, the total of your team is automatically 780 people in your team. This can happen within five months. Is this not amazing? amazing? This can happen even lesser than five months. So if you have the total of 780 people in your team, let's look at the financial implication. This is what we call financial freedom. Imagine that they come into your business, and as you are sitting down, you call them to come and also do business on their own. They are doing businesses on their own. And at the end of the day, each of them did a transaction of one million each. One million, one million, one million. On behalf of who? You, who invited them. You get a certain percentage, isn't it? But they are making their own money. Is that making sense? They are making their own money. Now, if every one of them here decide to do a transaction of one million naira every month, which is even over possible, we have people, people who came into the building their first month, they are doing over five, ten million. So imagine you teach everybody to do a transaction of one million naira every month. Let's see what it means. You who brought them on board, you are entitled to get a percentage. But trust me, how many percent are you expecting from? If, if 780 people do 1 million, this is how much you get. 780 million transaction. Is that not a big business? Did you do it alone? No. Now the company says, let's just on the average, let's give him 10% of the total cost. Let me show you, you are a big boy. That's it. The average of 10% of this is 78 million. I will put it to you that if you build your business correctly, you can make 78 million monthly. Can you see that? The effort of what? Team building. This is the, mas- the, the, the magic. Now, where I came from, um, my mentor, there was a time he flagged up 90.6 million naira check given to him. And then a lot of people have the mentality of 50,000 naira job. That changed a lot of people's mentality. Like, remember I said, whatever you can imagine, you will become. I mentioned 78 million people say, is it possible? That is your mindset. But to people who believe in the possibility, what they will look at is this. And if you are able to achieve this, you will achieve this. Am I communicating? <laughs> if you are able to look at this and you achieve this, you achieve this. That brings about using a short-term goal to achieve a long-term goal. Now, a lot of people don't know that vision is accomplished by mission. A lot of people don't know that vision is accomplished by mission. This is your vision. This is what you want to achieve. And this is your mission. So if you can look at your mission, concentrate on your mission. A lot of people will tell you, why would you wake up in the morning and be looking for friends who will partner with you? They are not seeing your, they are not seeing what you are seeing. But if you can see this, you will achieve this. Can you ask your neighbor, what can you see? Are you seeing millions in your account very soon? Are you seeing millions in your account very soon? 
I can see millions. I don't know about you. So for those who can see millions, at this point, I want to bring on stage someone who will show you. Some years ago, I knew him. He has a lot of energy to show you how to be rich. Because he has seen what it means to be poor, and he knew to be rich is better than to be poor. But guess what? In these two processes, to be rich is hard, to be poor is hard. Choose your heart. So we're going to show you a system today, a proven and tested system. And with us, someone who is grounded in the system, someone who is going to give you the A to Z on how to be financially free through the world leading real estate and network marketing company is experienced. So if you have your writing materials, please fasten your seat belt. And if your hands are not too busy, join me, welcome. A great man of our season, a man with a mandate to depopulate the kingdom of poverty. His name is Dr. Michael Akwete. You can stand up. I'm not sure you are doing that for him. He's ready, he's charged. He's, he has all it takes to pull you into the kingdom of greatness. I want us to tell him we love you. Today is going to unveil the business plan, the business project that will pull you to your billions. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. I'm sure you are online, so we give you this. We give you double rank. Let's give it up to him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Can you put your hands together for Enas? It's me, BDs. Put your hands together for yourself. I hope uh, when I call Enas, it's me, BDs. We know where we are coming from, okay? Yes, I'm happy to be here today. So, I'm talking gently now. Let me just say this. By the time I start shouting, don't be offended. I'm only shouting because I'm trying to break the mindset. Our mindset that be programmed from primary school, secondary school, even in the university level. Can you ever imagine the meaning of mindset. Mindset. It stands for something. And we have been programmed from when we were very small. Let me tell you something. When we were first giving birth to as a little baby, there's nothing like fear in our mind. True, folks? As a baby, you want to go, even when you see fire, you want to go and catch the fire. Okay? Even when you catch that fire, the thing burns you. The next day, you want to go there again. There's nothing like being afraid. So by the time... We now enter primary school. Of course, starting from our parents, they start putting fear into our mind. When you want to walk, they are guiding you. Ah, don't fall down, no. you know, you, are, you want to move one step. But as a child, when you move that step and fall down, what do you do? You get up again, and you keep moving. Am I correct? You do fall down and fail. I just say, oh, this thing is not meant for me. But you keep on going. They encourage you to go. But by the time you now grow up to enter primary school, in the school system we have in Africa, they start building our mindset for failure. For failure. At the end of the day, they build your mindset from, secondary, from primary school, secondary school, even in the university level. Everybody say mindset. Yes. Who can tell me the meaning of set? Related to something that is really set. Mindset. Let me give you an example. If you are mixing cement, water, stone, and sand, you mix them together, okay? You can use your, your shovel to do that, right? Very soft, am I correct? It's very soft. By the time you leave it for like 30 minutes or one hour, what happened to that concrete? Set. What, what did you just call it? Set. That means if you want to break it, what do you do? Does it mean you can just use that survey to break it anymore? Yeah. But does it mean you cannot break it? Yeah. What will you use to break it? 
sledgehammer. In that sledgehammer, are you going to be breaking it like this? What will you do? You use your force. So when I'm doing my training, when I hold the mic, I start talking gradually. But by the time I'm ready to break down your mindset, that will be programmed from what? From primary school, secondary school to the university. I apply sledge, sledge what? Hammer. That's when you see me shouting. To break down your mindset. Now let me give you an example. Those days, when we were very small, right? My dad bought a television, a very big cupboard. If we want to watch television those days, what do we do? Ah, this guy, they will wear red. <laughs> when you open it, you see one big tube inside. You want to watch a program, first of all, they will show you rainbow. After the rainbow, they see national item, you know, you know the rest. But later, when I have, you want to put on your television, you start, you go there and turn button. What would the button say? Ke, 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 you hear that sound. That was when we were growing up, am I correct? Now, later, what now happened? Those that could, later, color television now came. Like me, we couldn't afford tele, color television. I went to buy Lucozet Boost, yes. Lylon, and we wrapped the television. And it showed color. Am I correct? Yes. I'm taking you somewhere. Then, after that Lucozet or uh, thing, what now happened? Television system now changed to one big tube that have colored, then later it advanced, even to today, to what we have today. Now, today, if you want to put on the television, what do you use? Remote control. You just press a button and the television is on. I do a lot of things with television nowadays. What happened? Modernization of what? Technology. Now, let's go back to when we were in school. Primary school. They give us a syllable. From secondary, primary school to secondary school, they tell you X plus X is equals to Y. Find Y. Have you seen Y money today? <laughs> Simultaneous equation. Almighty formula. Why are they deceiving us? You will solve math, they will tell you further mass. After you have solved to get the answer, they will not tell you, no, it's a further mass. They, at times I solve the math, they will not ask me to resolve it back again to arrive to where I'm coming from. Jesus, what is all that? So when we were in school, what they were just teaching us what we call what financial intelligence. Nobody taught us what we call, uh, sorry, intellectual intelligence. Nobody taught us what we call financial intelligence. Nobody taught us what we call financial intelligence. How come now? Today, do you know that the syllabus we use, that's what they are still using? Why have they not changed it? The technology has changed the system we used to watch television. So what happened to our school system? Africa, Europe, as in, they only came here to deceive us. They don't want us to be rich like them. But thank God for P1. What we are here to teach you is what we call financial intelligence. It's what we are here to teach you, financial intelligence. And I'm going to teach you, if it is just today, before we leave here, I just want to work with only 10 people. I don't want to watch with crowd. With just 10 people that are ready to work with me, to transform their life, to transform their life, to depopulate through themselves from that kingdom of poverty. Just 10. 10 of you, if you are 10 of you, just raise up your hand. Ten, ah, every, <laughs> okay, no problem. Are you ready to actually work with me? For five years, five years, with hard work. When I mean hard work, I mean your what? Intellectual. Not hard work of pushy wheelbarrow or bricklay work or, you know, but intellectual work that is being put together by P1. That's what I'm going to show you today. Open your mind. And when I show you this six step, you'll be able to do that. Because they said, if you want to decrease the number of people suffering, give them a chance to what? To earn an honest living. See, don't wait for government. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. Don't wait for them anymore. How can you dig soak away? You load your soak away with money in dollars. Our money. And at the end of the day, you forget the money there and it got rusted. Have you not seen those clips? How can you load the money in a whole warehouse? 
with cabinet this side, full with dollars. At the end of the day, they forgot that there's such money there. And they will come here and tell you that snake has swallowed the money. Mocking and run away with the money. What a country. So I'm here to tell you that you need to create your own economy. If they like, let them sell for it for 1,000 naira per liter, you will buy it. Create your economy. Stop saying, Buhari, you are walking in your road, you hit your leg. Ah, Buhari, what is Buhari? <laughs> what do you mean by Buhari? Create your own economy and stop blaming Buhari. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. P1 is here to give you that opportunity to earn an honest living. And we are not stopping. It's a ministry, it's a revolution. Revolution of the mindset, not revolution of carrying guns. Give me 20 years. I'll still be talking like this. By then, I'll be able to depopulate more than 60% of youth from their social vices. I'll give them a chance to earn an honest living. How many years did I say? 20 years. 20 years and I mean it. By then, by then, by that 20 years, with what we plan to do, dollar will be one era. I said 20 years and I mean it. Nigeria is so blessed. Why am I talking like this? We are so rich in this country. We are so rich in this country. We are so rich. The leaders of tomorrow is you and I. It's you and I. Forget about those people. Let them be, let them be, let them be a burden in our wet. Let them buy everything. Let them buy an NPC. Let them buy every Nigeria. But don't worry. All those things they are buying, your children will buy it from their children. Your children will buy it from their children. I'm here to encourage you today, never, ever, ever give up on yourself. Never give up on yourself. The business I'm about to show you today, when you start it with us, network marketing, people will laugh at you. If you're here as a PBO, have they ever laughed at you doing network marketing business? Raise up your hand. That means you are succeeding in network marketing business. If you are doing this business and nobody is laughing at you, that means you have not started the business. I joined network marketing business when I was doing my youth service. That was about 15 years ago. You know, when you go to the hospital, they say they are looking for, when they want to do your text, what would they collect? A sample. Blood what? Sample. There was a day they collected my blood and they put it in their list. It was reading network marketing. <laughs> yes. It was really network marketing. In my life is network marketing. Everything about me is network marketing. Everything I have today is network marketing. All my brand new cars are network marketing. All my brand new cars are network marketing. But when I joined the business, did people celebrate me? No. They were laughing at me. Even me, before I joined the network marketing business, I was deceived to join. Because those days when you hear of network marketing business, ha, I don't know how many of you were doing before now. It's not now that people are not proud. Thank God for Eric Warren. That keep educating people about network marketing business. When you tell me about network marketing business, when I was doing my youth service, I won't listen to you. That was before we even entered. Even when, we were, when I was in the university, I heard about network marketing business. I said, I better go and see that. You know those people that keep selling drugs? But well, it's more than that. The person that introduced me to network marketing business, I was introduced to network marketing business by Mr. Atako, a former security man, a security man, joined network marketing business, and the life changed. And I was trained in my network marketing business by Professor John Ekberije. He trained me in network marketing business. I'm talking about 15 years ago. 15 years ago. When Mr. Tagbo came to where we're doing, why am I sharing this? I need to let you know. Wait, before, when you leave here today and you're excited, when you talk to somebody about it, when you talk to the first person, it's going to reject you. Second person will reject you. Third person will reject you. Even to the tenth person will reject you. But do not give up. That's why I'm sharing this with you. It came to where we're doing our uh, youth, um, what's it called? Is it CD, right? CDS, thank you. You know, you, it's local government by local government then. Our own was in worry then. He came with a brand new car, and he came to pick about five, four of us. He said, we should come. I said, really? He said, yeah, there's an American company that is coming to Nigeria that he wants us to come and work with the American company when we finish our youth service. American company. Who go hear that one when you go run? I ran. 
It's therefore for us to come, I was in front, because I was thinking that when we get to the car, maybe it will not size us. <laughs> we entered, four of our friends, one of my best friend and two other guys like that who were doing service together. We entered, ah, America company. I was already calculating I'm going to be receiving salary in dollars. We went there and entered a training hall like this, smaller than this one, a little bit from here to here, and half of this hall. We sat down and he was talking. He was talking. Yeah, this American company is based in Arizona. Is this, is that. He started telling us the history of the company. And at the end of the day, he not mentioned network marketing. Oh my God. I almost stood up from where I was sitting to go and harass him and say, Why did you bring me here to waste my time? You know, as he was just talking, something was running through my mind. I said, I beg, come and drop me back. And you bring me here to come and waste my time. Don't like some of you are now, you are, as I'm talking now, you people are saying, I bet soft reach out. Why you they shout? I'll be your mate. <laughs> <laughs> Why some are so sitting down and say, Yes, I will succeed in this business? Those are the 10 I'm looking for. Why some are saying, I bet she has a whole too big mic. Come carry white baby and I suffer and make and get this white baby. Come here, come they shout. Some are running through their mind. True of us. It's possible. It's not everybody that will succeed in this business. Those that want to succeed, they will succeed. Just like my colleague Enas was telling you. You are trying to drug somebody away from poverty level. He's telling you, I bet, leave me, you am okay here. Have you not seen somebody that they gave one million, only one million, he could not sleep in the night? He now returned the money that, the person that gave him one million, I said, I bet, carry your while I go. Take, I don't need this money anymore. Since you gave me this money, I have not been able to sleep. He's protecting the money so that nobody can come and steal the money. <laughs> anyway, to cut everything short, he now said, he finished talking, I said, thank God, come and take me back. You wasted all my time. But before he left, he said, go and check the internet. He gave us the website, and he said, check the internet, and at the end of the day, you will see what I'm telling you. I said, I better come and drop us there. As he was going, he now stopped at a tantalizer and he bought us meat pie and mineral. Ah, I said, thank God. <laughs> if this is the only meat pie and mineral, <laughs> I don't chop lunch. You know how copper life been, huh? I said, ah, my lunch has been taken care of. I said, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Just dropped us. I drank the mineral. I said, ah, thank God. My effort is not wasted. <laughs> said, this meat pie and mineral, let me hold it at least. This man took care of my lunch. I'm taking my time to share my life testimony with you. So, took us back, dropped us. In the night, I could not sleep. You know, at times, you couldn't, at times in the night, have you ever seen yourself wandering around what happened during the day and you could not sleep? I now remember when he said, check the website, www.mentioned the mentioned the name of the website. I picked my phone and I entered the website. I started checking. Then he now told me, he said, type why network marketing. Type my first year in network marketing. I started reading very important things about network marketing business. That was when I now discovered that network marketing business is just a leverage. It's like a vehicle. The tire is the leverage that moves that vehicle. That is network marketing business. Just come and plug in and leverage on that opportunity that is already existing. By the time I now realize this is all about network marketing, that is the real fact about network marketing, I joined the business. I started doing network marketing business. That was why I joined the business. When I joined network marketing business 15 years ago, in the street of worry, as a network marketing professional, everybody around you is a suspect. You must talk to people every day. You must open your mouth to talk to people every day if you want to succeed in this business. Your mouth is your workshop. It's like you, you have this shop right, right there. Now, if they close the gate and say we are closed for today, will they make money? The same thing with network marketing business. You must open your mouth and talk to somebody every day if you want to succeed in network marketing business. I became mad in the street of worry. Became mad. I have a problem. The problem I have then was diarrhea of the mouth. If I see you, I must talk to you. Have they started calling you net? Ah, see this talkative, they come on. <laughs> you don't understand. You get How many of you know that music? You get that, see, they do me, do me that time. Yeah. I know how he was doing me. 
What pushed me to network marketing business was to drive a brand new car. Because anytime I'm going for my, for, my, for, for my primary assignment at DPRO, I was staying in NPC uh, senior staff quarters there in Worry. I said, young copper. Anytime I'm going for my service, I always admire the car of the operation, or operation controller then. I said, man, I like to that, man. Clean car, brand new car. I said, I like to buy this kind of car. My first why in Neto Marketing Business was to buy a car, a brand new car. That was then. A brand new car. Did I qualify for that brand new car? Of course, yes, I did. I read my first year in Neto Marketing Business. I qualified for my brand new car. In less than six months, I joined Neto Marketing Business. A brand new car, Toyota Corolla, 2008 model. That was when they changed the shape. If you understand Toyota Corolla series. That was when they changed the shape to Okbolo, that they call it Okbolo I. Okbolo front and back. Fine, big car. That was when they now changed the shape to that big Toyota Corolla. You need to see me very small inside. If I have the time, I'll project the picture for you to see. And of course, I joined my first year, less than six months, qualified for my first brand new car. In this business, you are going to qualify for your brand new car. Do P1 homes come? In P1, let me tell you my story about P1. I joined P1 six years ago. We started recruiting. We started recruiting. When I joined P1, P1 was already started in 2012. P1 was already almost five years, thereabout. From 2012 to uh, 2016, how many years? Four years when I joined. I joined 2016. P1 was already 12, uh, three to four years. I joined as the consultant development manager. We're giving our training, recruiting, network marketing. I already understand the meaning of network marketing. People will come, I will train them, teach them about network marketing. Every day, I must, be, I must talk about network marketing. When I just joined, my less than three months, I was given a brand new car. Kia Rio, in P1. Less than three months, recruiting. Then we, we call ourselves um, consultant. We're consultant. Have our training, ground floor, where you have that beautiful reception. That was where we're doing our training. I don't know if anybody was with us then here. Yeah. Oh, you were with us. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. You need to see me then. I don't have white hair then, no. They call me Minister of Enjoyment. We train from 3,000. 3,000 uh, consultants all together. I said there were four years already when I joined. In less than one year, from 3,000, I grew the network marketing strength partners to 10,000 plus. In less than one year. In less than one year, we're part of recruitment. In this business, to succeed in P1 business, you must learn how to what? Recruit, how to build your team. So ladies and gentlemen, free your mind, free your heart. I've been able to break your mindset. Have I been able to break that mindset that I've been programmed from secondary school? What am I here to hand over to you, to, to you today? I want to hand over to you a remote control to change your financial statue. Instead of doing it manually, a remote control that you can just press and it change your financial statue. Through the power of what? Real estate network marketing business. Because P1 introduced Network marketing into real estate. How many of you know that the first business man ever did on earth is real estate? Ask me how. When God created uh, Adam, where did he put Adam? In the Garden of Eden. To do what? To manage real estate. In the Garden of Eden, Oku Garden. That's where it started. Zion Gardens. That's where it started. Today, we are still talking about what? Land. God is actually the first man who did a location on earth. He allocated the Garden of Eden to who? To Adam. Put your hands together for yourself. You are very intelligent. That's why in network marketing business, you can never, ever, ever get it wrong. You can never get it wrong. Before I joined real estate, when I was making money in my first network marketing business, I was making money. Money. I didn't buy land. Only real estate was there for me to buy land. I didn't buy. I said I love cars. Buying cars. Imagine I have my 10 million era then and I bought land in Oniro estate. 
and a real estate person bought car, then a Range Rover Sport, 10 million era too. They are both assets according to them. Okay, to date, let's say both of our assets. How much will you sell your Range Rover Sport 10 years ago? One million. Or oh, if care is not taken, you are going to pay a bookie to help you come and carry the scrap. <laughs> but me, I have that land. How much will I sell my land? That's money. That is real estate. That's why we are introducing to you on a platter of gold. We call you PBO. You are a P1 business owner. Who is a business owner? A billionaire is a business owner. Are you aware as you are coming here for the first time? And we are telling you to join us, which I'm going to show you today. You are starting a multi billionaire real estate business in Africa, the biggest in Africa, which is P1. Imagine P1, as you are sitting down here, we have office in well over 30 something states, branches, offices. In Lagos alone, do you know how many offices we have in Lagos? Accountable. Do you want to start counting it? Let's start from uh, Lekki Face One, Freedom Way. How many do we have there? Three. Come out of Freedom Way. Go to the other side. How many do we have here? How many is there? Prestige is there. They come forward again. You see Pro. P1 Pro is there. Move forward again. You see uh, Heritage. Move forward again. You see what? Premium. Move forward again. You see Heaven. You see Legend. You see Star. Can you put your hands together for P1? And you are joining a business like that, and they say you should come and sign on to join. And you become a business owner. That means you have branch office in where? In all those locations. You need to cherish this opportunity. I say thank you to the person that introduced you to this opportunity. But first of all, I'm going to put you through. Let me, let's just go through what we have. We say we are P1, right? And P1 stands for what? Property, word, African word, network. That is what we stand for. Yes, P1 was established in what? March 2012. We are the first real estate network marketing in the whole world. In the whole world. That's the first. The first real estate network marketing uh, company. Now, what is our vision? Our vision is to make home national dream a reality. How many of you are ready to own your home? I said I want to work with you for five years. I want to show you an opportunity whereby you can own your own house without paying for it. OPN, using other people's money to pay for it. How many of you are ready to own that kind of house? But you are ready to work with me for five years. And I'm going to show you how that is happening. How we are going to do that. We are going to work together. Because our vision what, is to make a dream a reality. A man with a vision is a dangerous man. You must have a vision today. What is your why? What is your vision? To become rich. And we are telling you that we want you to own your own world. Home. That is what we want to tell you today. Okay? And what is our mission? Our mission is to discover affordable world, land, everywhere. I make this note to you and also show you how to what? How you can make money to buy land and build your own world home or how you can make money to buy your own world home this is what we are going to teach you how you can do all these things this is what we are going to teach you today now what is our core value of course it comes that it came uh, out from what we call arise accountability responsibility integrity services and what excellence this is our core value this is our core value now Look at the founders. In network marketing business, you must have somebody that you call your mentor. In every network marketing business. You must learn how to tell your own story when you join this business to succeed. Since I was talking here for almost 20 minutes, what am I sharing with you? My story. My story, my experience. If you, if you want to join, succeed in network marketing, you must create a story for yourself. We are doing a giveaway card qualify and get one. We are doing international trip, qualify. Create your story. It might take you one year to qualify, two years to qualify. If you don't have your story to tell, tell the story of your upline. If your upline does not have a story to tell, tell the story of your up-upline. 
If none of them have story to tell, tell my story. You are hearing it today. And I will still tell you more. If you cannot tell my story, tell the story of the founder. Dr. Augustine Ozioma and Dr. Jane Obioma Oumere. They are the founder of this great company. Some years ago, about 10 years ago, 11 years ago, they could not pay for a place they can call a, a home of their own. They were squatting from one place to another. They squatted in over 30 places in those years. They could not pay for one square meal, talk less of paying for three square meals. But today, as I speak to you today, they are building homes for people. They are creating wealth for people. They are giving people cars, scholarship. They are depopulating the kingdom of poverty every day. I thought you'd be clapping your hands together for them. Every day, that's what they are doing every day. They are the founders of P1. The founders of P1. Okay? They are the founders of P1. That's the brief history I just told you. Some years ago, they could not pay for their accommodation. But today, they have created a system that will generate income for you and I. They kill the greediness in real estate. Those days when you hear real estate business, right? Assuming I have a property to sell, and I introduce that property to you, and you now tell somebody, who tells somebody, who tells somebody, who tells somebody. At the end of the day, the last person will now bring a client to buy that property. And me, how many percentage will I pay that owns that property? Five percent. What happened to that five percent? Everybody will share it among themselves. Man, that's when you see fight. You see people killing themselves because of that 5% they want to share. Has it happened? Yes. But when they came, they killed the greediness in real estate. And they said, instead of giving you only 5% to share, I'm going to give you 25% to share among yourself. Put your hands together. And they said, we don't need to fight yourself. When you join us today, you bring a client to buy. We give you 15% direct commission. And you now introduce somebody, your friend, who brings the clients to buy. We pay that your friend 15%. Because you are the one who introduced your friend, you get that many percent? 5%. It is didn't stop there. There's also what we call the 3% indirect commission, 2% indirect commission, it should be 1% indirect commission. The product system. They kill the greediness in real estate. So today, that's why you see a lot of people are making money in P1. Because they introduce network marketing into the system of real estate. Introduce network marketing to this. They are not greedy. They say, let me keep all the money to myself. No. Apart from paying those percentages, they still buy cars. Look at the giveaway we are doing downstairs. How many vans are? Twelve, Twelve vans are. Twelve vans are. Every month, a vans must go. Do you know how much is a vans Last year, the same thing. Camry, this year, 12 Venza. I wonder what they will give next year. I wonder what we will give 15 years' time. I thought we'll start giving private jets. Oh. <laughs> They're not greedy. Say, I must succeed in this business. That's their brief history. As I talk to you today, they gave birth to several affiliate companies. Setting you up. I joined P1 as a staff. I joined P1 as a staff. First of all, I joined as a consultant. From consultant, I become a staff. Then as a staff, right? From staff, I became um, um, head of department. From head of department, they opened an affiliate company for me. That's why I'm the managing director, CEO of P1 Pro. My one error did not contribute to a certain number of that company. One error I did not contribute, yet I was given 50% shareholder of that company. Who else does that? And the company I'm talking about, I'm not telling you a company that you open from one store. Maybe one plaza, one store, you are managing it. No, a furnished, fully furnished duplex in Lekki that you pay house rent of close to 10 million naira per annum. Everything was set up. I said, this is your office. Who else does that? Nobody in this whole world, nobody will do it. As you are sitting down here today, 
You might start this business as a PBO. One day, you become a director. Become a director. Become a director. That's a company for you. That's a founder for you. Today, I can't remember, I can't even count the many cars I've gotten from P1. In less than six years, my first year, three months, Kia Rio. In less than one year, again, I got another brand new car. Um, um, Ultima. Kia Ultima. Kia what? Ultima. What about the Venza? I told you I love cars. What about the Venza? Today, as I speak to you, <laughs> In this same business, I'm driving the latest Toyota Highlander from this business, from P1. I'm living in my own house from P1 business. What I have traveled, I have traveled and traveled to the extent that they were calling me minister of what? Yeah. Enjoyment. Minister of enjoyment. Is it, is, it, is it Dubai? Is it Mauritius? Is it Las Vegas? Yes, GoPro, the biggest NATO marketing co conference in the whole world, in the whole world. Be organized by Eric Waring. GoPro, you can type it there, GoPro, by Eric Waring. The biggest NATO marketing conference in the whole world. It was only P1 Group that sponsored over 35 uh, partners then to Las Vegas. All expense pay trip including hotel accommodation. All expense pay trip. All expense pay trip. Only in P1. Even that visa alone. Do you know what people, what people go through just to get visa? America visa. Some go to a mountain to pray. Am I correct? They are still doing it. <laughs> and this company, I qualify. Travel to Las Vegas. It's interesting. You two will also travel. You two will travel. It's interesting. A company that is giving everything. As if that was not enough from partner. They said, no. Become a PBO. A P1 business owner. You own the business. We co-own the business. That's why you can walk into any company, any of the affiliate company, and transact your business. Are you aware? Okay, let me give you an example. As you want to start a real estate business. How many of you are coming for the first time? Fantastic. Sir, so, assuming you want to start a real estate business, right? You are going to get an office space. Am I correct? You get an office space, you are going to pay for that office. Where would you like to get an office space? Assuming you want to start your real estate business. In Lagos. Lekki. Good. Now, to get a place in Lekki, like a duplex to start your business, let me use my own, my own office in Lekki. That office is about 5 million naira. The generator alone, 3 point something million naira. How much is that? Please. Eight point something, be calculating for me. Okay? Now, they, to furnish the office alone, to furnish the office alone, can take another two million. How much is that? Fantastic. Now, you're going to buy what we call inspection vehicle. One inspection vehicle that you use to take client to, for inspection. At least that will cost you like 4.5 million naira. How much is that? Now, you're going to engage staff that will be working there. Assuming you are just starting, you get a cleaner, you get a front desk. Am I correct? Good. Let's say you get just cleaner and the front desk plus you. No, you become a driver by yourself. <laughs> Leave security, open gate by yourself. <laughs> we are just starting a business. How much is that? Now, after doing that, right? How Flyers and everything, at least. How much have you calculated? 20 million. Fantastic. That is office alone. Are you not going to put land in the market, sir? How many land would you like to put in the market? If you like it, oh, go to Diomi, oh. don't tell me lucky, like because you are just starting. As you go to Diomi, you put a land in the market. You go and meet family, at least. Put one in the market in Diomi, you go to Ekpe, and put one in the market. As you you have how many estates in the market? Like two estates. Are you not going to pay, buy, for, buy those estates and put it in the market? One of the estates, how many plots of land do you think will be in one of the estates? 200, fantastic. To buy that 200, one, maybe one of them is like you are buying it from the family, maybe 600,000 there. Or let's say the one in Odeomi, 
Then in a pair, you buy like one million naira. Calculate it. Bros, you already run into hundreds of millions. For oh, that is. At the end of the day, how, much, how, many, how much are you running to? Almost 200 million. That was what somebody used to set up an office and gave it to me. Stop paying a dime. Stop paying a dime. And P1 is telling you, as a PBO, then we start saying you are a PBO. Now, imagine you just, how many companies do we have? Each of those companies, how many estates do they have in the market? Do you understand what you have? Do you understand what you are sitting on? As a PBO, you can market in all the affiliate, true of us, both land and buildings. Plus, you are a mega billionaire. You need to realize it. You need to realize it. You can take a client to any of those estates and show your client, this is my land. I'm selling things for 1.5 million naira per plot. You show them. You are going for inspection. You walk into this place. You go to the front desk. How are you? They sit down on that front desk, front downstairs. Is that place beautiful? Yes. Sir, this is my office. It's your office. You can do complimentary card and put the address. It's your office. You are starting big. You are starting real estate big. You have a driver. You are not driving yourself. You have offices in well over so many places, states. Name them. You are a PBO. I am giving you this opportunity. P1 is bigger than any company in this Nigeria. You don't know. It's bigger. It calculates the number of lands you have in the market. The offices, everything. You just, when you join, they say pay uh, uh, 52,650 so that you can own a land to yourself also. At least for subscribe, I'm going to teach you that. And you just plug in, those offices belong to you. That is the power of network marketing, that is leverage. You are leveraging on that opportunity. You are keen into it and you leverage upon it. From there you can become billionaire. And the kind of money you are going to make in this company, Snake will not swallow that money. Snake will not swallow that money. EFCC will not look for you. FCC will not look for you. It's genuine. It's genuine. You are creating your own economy. But before you get there, before you succeed, you must open your mouth and talk to people every day. Every day. In network marketing business, you must open your mouth and talk to people what? Every day. That was what I was doing in worry. Are you aware that there was one madman in NRA Junction? I almost went to prospect that madman. That's to tell you how I talk to people. You don't understand. When you catch the vision, when you catch the vision, you run with it. That's why they said a man with a vision is a dangerous man. How can a man tie bomb to himself? And you say, go and explode yourself and kill people. And you have seven virgins. Where? <laughs> then he became a dangerous man. He tied his bomb. He went to the market square. Boom. Explode himself. Because he wants to go to heaven to sleep with the virgin. Then you, I'm telling you now that you can become a man with a, with a, have a, the same vision. The same explosion, you are going to explode yourself. But in what way? Talking to people every day. That's the explosion you need to do to yourself. Talking to people every day. Recruit people, recruit everybody in your church, everywhere. Your family, your phone contact. Create a different WhatsApp group. Everybody sitting down here, you have more than 200 contact friend list on your phone, true of us. Some have one, my own is 5,000 something. I know some will beat my record here. Who have above 5,000 your contact list? Who have above 1,000? Segment them. And that's for telling you how many uh, different type of people you have. It cat categorize them into how many? Can you categorize those your contact list into five? And create, don't create a WhatsApp group. Create a broadcast word list for each of them. Category one, the poor. The category two, the, uh, no, the category one, the very poor. Category two, the poor. Category uh, three, the, <laughs> the medium class. Category four, the rich. The last one, the very rich. That is all you have on your contact list. Is anybody that is here 
that have a contact list that does not know who can buy land in those your contact list. Everybody has somebody that can buy land in you in, in his or her contact list. True or false? You must have a rich uncle if it is not your immediate brother. You must have a rich uncle that can buy, pay for land of 1.5 million era and will, it will not shake him. True or false? Or you have a brother, or you have a relation, or you have a friend. And if you, leave, if you check your contact list today, imagine, list them out. Everybody can get up to five. I Me, mean, if I list my own, it's more than 100. Am I, are, you, are, are we together? Categorize them. Those are the kind of people you will be sending messages to about this business. Of course, with time, we're going to be telling you how to prospect. Many of us don't know how to prospect. In prospecting, there are two ways you prospect people into your business. Number one, is either you hunt your prospect or you fish your prospect. When you hunt your prospect, they run away from you. Like a hunter pursuing an animal. What happened to that animal? It run away. That's what most of us do when we are prospecting. I want to go pursue sales. How many of you have used that language? I want to go pursue sales. Have we used it? You pursue sales. What happened to what you did pursue? Go run. I'm going to be teaching you how you can attract sales. Sales will, keep, will look for you. How you can fish sales. If a, a, a fisherman is, he, he throws his net into the field, into the river, what happens? It attracts fish. Am I correct? Yes. The fish come and enter that net by themselves. I'm going to be teaching you that in no time. How you can attract people to come to you so that you can recruit them in this business. If you want to succeed, like I keep saying, in this business, you must learn how to what? To build a solid team for yourself. As I was talking about the affiliate, the first affiliate that P1 gave birth to was P1 Edge. First affiliate, P1 Edge. For P1 Edge, of course, we gave birth to every other affiliate. Can you see them there? P1 Edge, P1 Plus. Who can name them? Can you see them? Plenty affiliates. Plenty affiliates. Can you see P1 Pro there? P1 Pro. Happens to be the managing director of what? Of P1 Pro. I thought you put your hands together for this great company. Is there any of these offices you will enter that will look like where they are selling tomatoes? Yeah. Classic office. Standard. Have you been to P1 Pro office? Standard. Have you been to P1 Plus? Like heaven on earth. There's a special session for PBOs where they relax and play. Oh my God. Have you been to P1 Haven? Have you, even, have you been to this full P1 group? Have you been to P1 Premium? All set up by these founders. With zero equity from you. Zero equity from you. As if that was not enough. And he said, oh, we will share equal. 50-50. In this whole world, nobody have done that. Nobody does that. Touching life every day. Touching life every day. Depopulating the kingdom of poverty every day. Every day. Pure edge. Look at them. Still going. In all these places. We are still counting. These are just few of them. We have more than, it's even going to 40 now as I speak to you. 40 something. None of them will have been set up with just one room, cook room. No. Fully what? Set up. This is affiliate. What about the centers? I'm not talking about centers that have been set up also. What about the branch offices? The branch offices. Name all the state. Bini, Wari, Asaba, Abuja, Enugu, everywhere. Branch offices. And you are coming as a PBO with your 52,650. You are still doubting. And you can enter any of these offices by the time you key into the business and transact your business. From today, from today, if your name is John, say, I'm a billionaire John. Add billionaire to your name. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Today you now know. That yes, I'm a billionaire, you now realize it. Oh, you now suddenly realize it. Forget about the mindset. We have broken it already. 
Now you have realized it. Walk like a billionaire. You will attract sales to yourself. But the first thing you need to do for you to attract sales, you must what? Key into this business. You must key into this business. I'll get there. I'll show you what you need to do to buy a house of, for yourself in less, than, in less than five years. I'm going to show you what you need to do. Of course, we created several affiliates, thousands of people over in over 30 states. We are there. We have commenced building in some of our estates. When we started, we started selling land. We started with selling land in El Erogbe. Started in selling land, P1 Group. Started with P1 Homes, selling land in El Erogbe. We started selling land. Of course, people, like I said, people would like to talk down on you. They will say, hey, P1 Home is not building. They are not building. You are selling land to your client. Are you the one that will build on your client? Who will build? People would like to spread them and say, P1 is not building. And uh, maybe because of the way we're spreading, they say, uh, maybe they don't want to build. And uh, maybe they so you know, Nigerians can always write meaning to something and say, ah, the reason why they are not building, maybe that's what the person, the, what do they call it? The Babalawa or the Otumokpo. Maybe <laughs> they will tell you, do you have Otumokpo? I have Otumokpo in this business. So. Ah, you don't know I have? I have. I have. Motumokpo is my holy ghost. Yes. Holy ghost. It's Motumokpo. That's what we have in this business. We are not building. But today, are we building? Yes. Go to Orchid Road. Buildings are standing there. Maybe, for example, you don't have money. Your son is in the hospital. You need to pay hospital B, and there's no money. Will you call your uncle? Yes. Everybody have this money. Let me tell you something. I don't want to do it today because I've done it before. I did it here last week. How many of you were here last week? Fantastic. I did that in Unilag. I went to Unilag. Explain the P1 business to them in Unilag. Can somebody put on this television so that I can see my slide, please? I explained the P1 business to them in Unilag. You know, student, when I first of all walked in, trust students now. Aye. Me, some of them. They actually saw reason. And they all registered. Those that stood up. They actually have their money. They all registered. They will start starting my, my training. As I was just training, one of them ran to me. He was panting. <sighs> this is the money. I brought it. He went outside when I mentioned he went to his hostel, hostel or whatever. He went to collect the money and brought it and said, Sir, look at the money. I have the money here to register the car. I said, you have the money. The end of them were laughing. I said, bring it. I counted 37,650. I said, you are going to register for this business. And I gave him the many one. They were all laughing at him. <laughs> he not done on him what I actually did. And he said, wow. He said, sir, I will do this business. And he joined the business. So we all have money. Let's not deceive ourselves. This is an opportunity for you to join this business. And when you join, like I said, we're going to work with you to succeed in this business. I'm going to work with you to succeed in this business. There's nothing that you want to get in this business that we cannot get for you. Like I said, we are the first real estate world network marketing company in the whole world. How many of you are coming here for the first time? You have a smartphone. Go to your smartphone. Do you know what is called Google? Go to your Google and type the first real estate network marketing company in the world. Type it there. What, what do you see? Type it, man. You're holding a smartphone. Type it. Please. You know people don't follow this instruction. I said this thing in an open place. The person went to type the first re real estate business. He removed the network marketing. Please add the network marketing. The first real estate network marketing company in the whole world. The first real estate network marketing company in the whole world. What did you see? The first real estate network marketing company in the whole world. Who is there? I have something for that person right now. Say it out. P1, right? P1. That's enough selling point for you to, for people to join your business. Is there anybody that is seen another different name? P1. We are big. We are the number one. We are the first. We are the first. Okay? We are the first real estate. We introduce network marketing into real estate because of its multi-level 
compensation system, which I just explained to you. Do you understand the multi-level compensation system I explained? In P1, number one, there are, there are so many ways you make money from P1, which we are going to show you also. There are 12 ways. Okay? Now, number one, when you come, when you sell land, you register with us, okay, and you bring somebody to buy land, you get what we call commission. Direct and indirect commission. That's what you do. You earn money through direct and indirect commission. And what we use is the power of five. Okay? The power of five. The power of what? Five. It's called five by five. When you join today, what you need to do is to just talk to five people to join you in the business. Talk to five people to join you in the business. And when you do that successfully, at the end of the day, you have been able to build a solid team for yourself. Imagine that is you. And on your contacts, you, say you have more than five contacts on your, uh, on your phone. Am I correct? As in friends. And you talk to just five persons, and those five are bringing in their what? They are five five. They are five five. Everybody is bringing their five five. When you join the business today, we we'll show you the business. What you need to do, you talk to five people, register five people this same month of August. And when you do that, and you encourage those five to do the same thing, I'm going to shock you what you are going to get. I'm going to show you what you are going to get at the end of the day. What you stand to get, okay? Now, first of all, by the time you join as a PBO, okay, you, you start by joining the program as a PBO. I'm taking you straight, straight. How 12 ways you can what? Earn income as a P1 business owner. Number one, direct recruitment bonus. You are building your team. You join today. I said you introduce this business to your friend. And they join the business, okay? And by the time they do that, for each person you introduce to join the business, as mean you are joining 52,650 or 37,650, for anybody you are introducing to join, the company will pay you 7,200 or 11,520 naira on each recruitment. Now, the indirect direct sales commission from 1 to 15%. That means when you bring somebody to buy land, I've explained to you the greediness by killing P1K and kill the greediness in real estate, right? The direct commission system is from 1 to 15%. Because we also sell buildings. Our buildings, some of them that will be building in uh, Eco Atlantic, the commission might be 1% because the volume is what? Is large. So from 1 to 15%. That's what we call the direct sales, um, the indirect sales commission, ranging from 1 to what? To 5%. Imagine you sign up somebody, about 10 people, and whatever those 10 people are doing every month, you are getting 5% five, 5 from them. That is where the money is also. There's what we call buy to sell, which is another very powerful product of P1. Buy to sell, okay? The trade real estate, you have somebody that wants to invest in real estate, invest any amount, at the end of one year, they get 40% return on investment. Of course, that commission, there's what we call the indirect buy to sell commission also, okay? Where you earn 2.5%. The buy to sell direct commission is what? 10%. Okay? Then the center recruitment bonus. You have a center, you're organizing your recruitment. Anybody that recruit that you recruited from your center, you get a center recruitment bonus. Of course, the center sales bonus is also there. Then, of course, we have the PBO monthly what performance bonus, which we do annually. Then you have the annual what bonus also, PBO elite VIP bonus, the manager or leadership bonus, the direct what bonus. And, of course, we have the 13 way, which is the founder's bonus. These are the different ways you make money. Anything you do in P1 is what money must translate to what to money. Now, when you subscribe as a PBO, I say register with at least 1,000 what? 650. Or 36,000, then the total. Will, if you want to register with 1,650, you become an associate what? PBO. Then the 37,650, that one gives you as what? Gold PBO. Then the 52,650 will give you what? 
the classic gold PBO. Now, if it's the uh, 52,650 that you subscribe for, that will qualify you to subscribe for a house. For those of you that say you want to own your own house in the next five years, if you want to join the business, you have to subscribe to become with the start with 52,650. That is classic gold PBO. That's the level you are going to start with. And when you start with that, we are going to work with you to qualify for your help, for your house. And once you start with that, you are going to be generating what we call point value, PV. PV is our currency. If you go to the United States of America, what currency do they use? When you go to UK, what currency do they use? When you come to Nigeria, what currency do we use? When you come to P1, what currency do we use? PV. Point value, we have our own money that we use here. Okay, that's why it's good for you to recruit. As you are recruiting, you are generating point value that you use to pay for your house in the nearest future. So the best thing for you to do is to recruit in P1. When you join P1 business, you must learn how to what? How to build your team, recruit. That's the number one thing you need to do. Build a solid team for yourself. And at the end of the day, the income you are going to be making. Imagine you have like 20 people that you introduce this year, before this year runs out, you're able to introduce 20 people directly under you. That means whatever those 20 people are doing, you are getting what? 5%, you are getting paid. You are getting paid for it. And at the end of the day, these are the level, like I said, 1,650, okay? Associate what? PBO. 37,650 is gold what? PBO. When you register with that, you have 25 point value, which I said point value is our currency. So when you now register with classic gold PBO with 52,650, you have what? 35 PV, which is our point value, and so on and so forth, okay? So I encourage every one of you to register with 52,650. If you know you have the money to register with elite PBO, you can do that. That one is 187,650. And when you do that, you have your own point value also, okay? Now this point value generates to money. Generates to money. Like I said, for those of you that are ready to work with me, right, for five years, at the end of five years, you are going to buy a house in any location of your choice. How many of you are ready to buy your house in any location of your choice? I want to ask you a question, and I'm very serious about it. So I want to ask you, where would you like to buy your own house in Lagos? <laughs> Oh, Chevron Alternative. Wow, that's good. Let's put our hands together for him. Fantastic. Now, that Chevron Alternative, how much do you think they sell houses there? How much is it? 95 million. I'm not afraid. Are you ready to work with me for five years to get that house? 98 million. Fantastic. It looks very serious. He said, I can buy a house in five years. Yes, I can do it. Some are saying, I can do it. Some are saying, I beg, talk when you come up for here. You two, they shout. There are two categories, okay? So I've seen number one that said, yes, I can do it. Let's put our hands together for him, please. <laughs> can I get number two? Number two, I can do it. Okay, ma, where would you like to buy your own house? Ikoyi, that's good. How much do you think they say house in Ikoyi? 500 million. Hey, I'm not afraid of figures. I'm not afraid. Ma, are you ready to work with me for five years? To get that house, if I show you what to do, are you ready to do it? Fantastic. Let's put our hands together for her. I need just five people. Number three. Let me take from here. Okay, you, tell me, where would you like to buy your own house? Lucky Face One. How many days sell house in Lucky Face One? Eh? 60 to 100 million. Fantastic. I'm not afraid. Are you still ready to work? Are you ready to work? Okay, good, for five years. All right, good. Number four. Number four. Number four. Okay, sir. Let's hear from you. Ikoyi. Ikoyi, like how much do they sell houses in Ikoyi? I've gone there, price, even price one and everything. Fantastic. I felt that was, uh, so I went like a big boy. Good. I like that. Uh, at least it was 300 million about three, four years ago. Okay. High rise. high rise. Hey man, this guy, now my guy. Three bedroom high rise. Where you be seeing the river? Ocean. 
Global, global. Yes. Good. Good. Oh, fantastic. Please listen to him. Oh, we are serious here. Yeah. Company is, uh, I told them my company told me to go and look for a place, and I just like this place. And I talked to the construction, they, uh, and so they took me around. They, they took me around. <laughs> no, I came, I came on my foot. Yes, so they took me around. They took me around. I confidently just went around. I said, they took me to four bedroom. I took me to three bedroom. I said, I like three, I like three bedroom with jacuzzi and everything. I said, I, said, I, said, I told them I'll get back to them. Collected their number. Collected their, their construction. Collected everything. And you say how much is it? It was, it was 300 million that time. 300 million. At that time. I am not joking. I am not minding words. I'm going to add you to my, to my group. And I'll work with you for five years. I'll make a statement. That house, you will pay for it. Amen. Five years. He's a man with a vision. Let me tell you something. If you don't attract those things to yourself, they will run away. Have you ever imagined that the moment you made up your mind that this is the kind of car I want to drive, you start seeing the car everywhere around you? Has it happened to you before? Where were those cars? Where were those cars? Man is a spirit that lives in a body. Man is a spirit that lives in a body. You must attract those things to yourself. You need to go and watch the secrets. The law of attraction, you attract those things to yourself. The law of gravity said, if I throw this object, what happened to it? It must fall down. No matter how you say, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, it must what? Fall down. For the fact that you don't realize that you can actually own a house in Banana Island or Ikoyi, and you are not realizing it today, I break that mindset and I've hand over the remote to you. All you need to do is to what? Press it by signing up as a PBO. 52,650. Sir, have you upgraded to, are you a P, classic gold PBO? 52,650. Fantastic. Even if it was not a classic gold PBO, I would have registered him or, I mean, uh, uh, upgrade him to become a classic gold PBO today. I would have done that. Because first, that's the first thing you need to do. As a man is a spirit that lives in a body. If you don't do it, and you are going about looking for classic gold PBO, you will never get them. It's not a cost. You want to sell house, you want to make money in Pinwa, first you must register as a classic gold PBO. Because man is a spirit that lives in a body. If you don't register, you are telling me, you come to walk up to me and say, come and register as classic gold PBO. I have the money. I will listen to you. I really have the money to register. Ha, ah, with ginger. By the time you turn your back, my spirit being will not allow me to register because your spirit being communicated to me that you are not a classic good PBO. It happens. Can we demonstrate it here? Everybody raise up your hand like this. I know you have seen me doing it before. Just do your hand like this. Can you wave it like this? All right, do the hand and follow me like this. Look at me. Put it here like this on your shoulder like this. Good. Your hand is here. Is this your shoulder? Why is your hand here? It changed. Why is your hand here? Because you were, you were looking at me. Man is a spirit that lives in a body. Come and register a classic gold PBO. You will qualify for half in Banana Island. You are telling me, and me, while you register with 1,650, by the time you turn your back, I will register with 1,650. Even though when I have the money. Because your spirit being knows that you are not, my own spirit being knows that you did not register as a classic gold PBO. By the time you turn your back, I will not register as a classic gold PBO. If you know you want to register classic gold PBO, five every month, upgrade. Upgrade to become classic gold PBO. You'll see the way you'll be registering cl classic gold PBO as what? Pure water. You'll see the way you'll be closing deals. You talk to somebody that have land because you already you know that as a classic gold PBO, you not only subscribe to become a PBO, you also have a house. Fifteen thousand naira is reserved for your house. That means they will give you a form to fill. You have subscribed to what? A house. That means you can sell land, you can sell houses anyhow. Am I communicating something? That is just a secret. 
So he has already visualized it. He has attracted that thing to himself. There is no way he will not succeed in this business. Because he's a man what? With a vision. That was number who? The last one, number five. Go ahead there. Where would you like to have in house? I want to have my dream house. Let me just start from Orchid Road. Orchid Road, good. Zion Residence. Yes. Zion Smart Building. Okay, good. Are you ready to also work? Fantastic. I have so many, so many, the, the, the adrenaline here is high. I like the adrenaline. Five of you. If I push you in the Crocodile River, you will swim out of it. How many of you want to swim out of Crocodile River? I'm ready to push you today. And when I push you there, nothing will harm you. You will swim out and fight with the crocodile and defeat them and come outside from that crocodile river. With the spirit of adrenaline in your system. With adrenaline in your system, you can jump up from story building and start running. You, nothing will happen to you. With adrenaline in your system, if somebody should start in that door now and shoot a gun, boom, all of you lie down. You see this window? It will size 20 people at the same time. Channel it into this business. Now, this is what you need to do for me, for you to have that your house. Okay? Number one, you are going to sign up as what? Classic Gold what? PBO. Then bring five people to also sign up with you. Those of us that are coming for the first time, pay attention. Even those that are here, already PBO, pay attention. Because when you hear it today, you are going to hear it in a different way. And because I have broken down your mindset, that has been broken. It will, it will dissect in your sixth step. And by the time you leave here, you become a dangerous man. Because you are going to do what you are supposed to do to qualify for it. Now, bring five. Five, bring five every month. Look at your point value. That's the Naira. That's the PV. That's our currency in P1. Point value. That's our currency. First month, second month, third month, fourth month. Month number five. Month number six. Month number seven and eight. At the end of the day, what do you have? How many point value? 17,000, 17,089, 17 million, 89,800. Yes, can you see it now? That is 17 what? Million, 89,800 point value. That's our currency. By the time this currency is not convert to Naira, that is what it will be. 172, um, 175 point value will give you how much? 2,000 what? 100. We are not converting your point value to money. That's the money you use to buy house. Second month, 875 point value is equal to what? 10,500. They said the journey with a thousand might begin with what? With a step. We are going there. I'm not, I'm not here to cajole you. I'm here to reveal secrets to you. A secret, a remote. I'm giving you the remote now that you use to change your success life, your financial world thinking. Now, let's go. The next one is what? Next one, let's calculate. At the end of the day, you see, you have how much converted to what? The total of what? 205 million 50,600. How many months? Eight, eight months. months. What are you doing every month? Bring five. And those five will bring how many? Five. At the end of the day, in eight months, this is what you stand to get. Can this buy house for some people here out of those five? Out of those five? Good. I told you I'm not afraid. And maybe some of you are saying, ah, the money no rich. Somebody mentioned 500, the money no rich. But how many years did I say I was going to work with you? Five years. Five years. By the time you time this money times five, what do you have? Over a billion, am I correct? Can a billion buy you a house? Did I, anybody mention house that is above a billion here? Yeah? No. That was when somebody said 500 and something million. It was doing like this. I said, don't worry, I'm not afraid of figures. I'll work with you to actualize this. Of course, on a, realis on a realistic um, state here, can you actually bring five every day? How many people can bring five every day? 
Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can. Okay, let's say on average, how many do you think we can bring in a month to register in a month? Three, okay. Three, okay, let's even say two. Let's say you're able to bring just two in a month. Now, when you bring two in a month, assuming you now stretch this figure to like, instead of eight months to one year, okay? That means in a month, instead of making 200 or something million, you're able to make just 100 million. Now, with this 100 million, can it buy house for some people, where those people that mention figures today? Yes. Now, by the time you now times that 100 million, times five, what do you have? 500 million. Can that buy house for all of them? Iko, you will buy house. Can you put your hands together for P1? That is it. What did I do? I work intellectually. I mean uh, financially. This is financial intelligence that they did not teach us in school. That we are teaching you in P1. Five years. This is our plan. Just talk to two. Only two every month. If you are serious, you can bring two every month. If you are serious, you can bring two every month. Only two. Some can bring five every month. Just bring two every month to register with that. And at the end of the day, this is just one aspect. Number one, you bring those people you are bringing. You remember they are still doing the business. Some of them will sell land at the long, at the long run. You yourself, you also sell land. You still get your what? Your commission. And apart from that, this is another thing you also benefit. Apart from the point value, there's another money you are going to also get again from doing, from just doing that recruitment. Okay? Of course, by doing that recruitment, you will travel. In network marketing business, you will travel. When I joined my network marketing business, I traveled. I traveled. I told you my, see, as I'm telling you now, some of you are charged up. When you leave here today, you are going to talk to your friend. I said, man, I've seen wonders in P1. Come and join me. You are going to settle down and talk to that your friend. By the time you finish talk, talking to that your friend, that your friend will reject you. I'm not laying a call, so your friend will reject you and say, don't mind those people. I bought land. They did not, they did not do my allocation. I do this. They did not do this one. They're only trying to discourage you, but don't you ever give up. When I joined my own network marketing business 15 years ago, of course, I was talking to my friend. I told you, if your friend have not started laughing at you, you have not started doing network marketing business. When I joined, my best friend, I was trying to talk to him for us to join the business. I always like to share this testimony. I call it testimony for the benefit of those that are coming for the first time. I told you my first day in network marketing business, I qualified for my, in less than six months, I qualified for my first brand new car. I drove the car to go and celebrate with my friend that was trying to say, let's do this business together. Because my friend told me that network marketing business, they're only going to use you. By the time they finish using you, that they will dump me. I say, me, use and dump. How? When I qualify for my car, I drove the car to go and celebrate with my friend, thinking that by the time he sees the car, we're going to do the business together. A brand new car. My friend looked at the car. He looked at it, he checked inside, checked inside. He said, ha, huh, you mean they gave you this? Where is the paper? I showed him the papers, everything. He looked at me and said, hey, oh, these people are really using you. I said, I don't understand, sir. What do you mean by they are using me? He gave me a hundred and one reason why they will collect the car from me. He said, by the time they finish using me, they will collect that my brand new car from me. He gave me a hundred and what? One reason. But when I got home, I started thinking. I said, ah, does it mean that this car, this is fine car? That night, I didn't sleep. Home. You know what I did? I went to sleep inside the car. I put on the AC. I said, if they are going to really collect this car from me, let me use the car. Anyhow, Anyhow I put on the AC, I slept, I fought the seat. I own my car, on the AC, I slept inside the seat. Where, where? Who say where, where? <laughs> I go give you a check. Oh. I slept. Woke up. The car was still with me. Of course, when you are sleeping, my dream, I was dreaming they collect the car. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up. I look, that car, because they said they would collect it. I actually believe you. I flog that car. I travel with that car. I will drive to Calabar 
We are doing success summits. I will drive to that place. I flog the car. I will see Porto. I will enter. Some people will buy car if the car that is driving them. They'll be going. They will see Porto. They want to carry the car and use their leg to cross. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I use the car. Of course, I was using the car for my business. Anywhere I'm going, that car was opening door for me. Attracting marketing. People that were telling me, no, no, no. Some of them started looking for me. To cut every story short, my first day in network marketing business, they wrote me a letter that I've qualified for my international trip. That we're going to South Africa. With excitement, I took the letter. I went to the front desk then. I said, ah, you people said I qualified for my first trip oh, that we're going to South Africa. They from there say, yes, yes, you're going to South Africa. I said, okay, ah, with excitement, I said, how are we going? Are we going to use ABC transport? <laughs> oh, that they were laughing at me. He said, no, we are, do you have international passport? I said, no, I don't have. It's okay, we are going to do international passport. They called somebody, I did my international passport. They said, you are going to bring it, we are going to give you a visa. And you travel to South Africa. I said, hey. And I said, but how are we going? He said, we're going to enter aeroplane. Me, aeroplane. Since I was born, I've never entered aeroplane before in my life. Those days when we were growing up, when we hear the sound of aeroplane, we run outside and say, aeroplane, buy something for me. If you are a witness, wave your hand. Everybody is a witness. Ah, innocent me when I was so small. When I hear the first sound of aeroplane in a day, I will run outside, I'll be shouting, aeroplane, buy something for me. After some hours, I will hear the aeroplane coming again. I will not be waiting for the something he has bought for me. Oh. How did they deceive us? This is what they taught us in school. They deceived us. Simultaneous equation. Almighty formula. Instead of them to tell us that when we're small, you can enter the aeroplane and travel out, they will tell us you can only wait to buy something for you. Let me tell you something. Some people are born with silver spoon. Some are born with gold spoon. But me, I was born with no spoon. But today, I'm giving spoon to people. Yes. Giving spoon to people. Yes. Through the power of P1 business, I'm depopulating the kingdom of poverty every day. Through the power of P1 business. You too can also depopulate the kingdom of poverty. To cut everything short, we traveled, I bought something for my friend. I bought him trainers, bought him sneakers, everything I bought for my friend. Yes. And I went to meet him, I said, this is what I bought for you. That month, UBA Bank, worry. That month, my bonus for that month was about um, 1.5 million fraction on top. Damn, big boy. And I showed him the check. I said, sir, that motto you said they will collect for me, I'm still using it all. <laughs> we have traveled outside the country. We are back. This is what I buy for you. I bought these things for you. Why not come? Let's team up to do this business. I know my friend. I know what we can do together. I don't know if you know you have that kind of friend. I said, let's team up and do this thing together. He looked at me up and I said, hell, my care. Hell. Say, these people have finished using you. <laughs> I got angry. I said, my friend, these people are using me. They bought me a brand new car. And you say they will collect it from me. I'm still using the car. These people are using me. I travel outside the country. These people are using me. I'm making one point something million naira in a month. I said, if they are using me, let them use me. Let them use my father. Let them use my mother. Let them use everybody in my family. And I told him, I said, ah, from today, you are no longer my friend. And I cut off from him. If you want to succeed in this business, you must learn how to cut off from people that are trying to pull you down. If you stay there and start arguing with them, hey, it's a lie, it's a deal, they will succeed in pulling you down. Pull you down. And at the end of the day, you will think the business is not what? Working. I said, you're no longer my friend, and I cut off. Of course, my friend was living large in worry was working in an echo bank. They called him one regional title manager. He had a house, was driving a good car. I never knew that the car he was driving was bought with 
loan. I never knew as a banker, you want to buy car, they give you loan. You want to buy phone, you give you loan. You want to buy house, rent a house, they give you loan. You want to buy the charge card, they give you loan. Are you aware that some of them collect loan to marry wife? If they're not able to pay that loan back, what happened to their wife? <laughs> then they will return the wife. <laughs> That will not be our portion anyway. That's why we are giving you the opportunity today. That's why we are giving you the opportunity today to fly with it. Of course, to cut everything short, my friend, when the Shani Bank, when they folded up, what happened? Did they, did they, did they increase salary? No, no, no. Did they employ more staff? No, no. What did they do? My friend was working with the Shani Bank then. Of course, they laid him off his job. And he lost his job. Of course, that time I cut off from me. I said, I will no longer talk to you again. I refuse to pick his cause. But after the layoff staff, of course, I heard. After some months, he now called me, and I picked his call. He said, ah, bros, don't be so now. You'll abandon me. I said, no, I'm not abandoning. He said, that nature marketing business, you have been telling me. I am ready to do it now. And I asked him the simple question. I said, are you ready to be used? <laughs> he said, bros, me and my family, my wife, everybody. They were ready to be used. And of course, he joined the business. He's doing well, relocated to Canada, doing well with network marketing business. Go and watch under, go watch under 30 million. Doing well in the network marketing business. In network marketing business, nobody can limit your growth. It is only you that can limit your growth. You must be ready to do it yourself. You must be ready to what, do it. Is it traveling? Of course, you can see where we travel to. Look at them. Dubai, Dubai trip, international traveling. Look at our celebrity, P1 celebrity, having fun with uh, our Nollywood people. Ah, international travel. We meal. Hey. Hi. See me here now. See my beer beer. Ah. 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 <laughs> See my baby, baby. Edi is here. That's my wife. She was sitting down here just now. That's the chairman and that's the group managing director. You can see all of us there. All the directors. All the spend pay trip by this company. Just look at. Fun. Fun, fun. This is the biggest ego summit 2022. I went to Dubai. Over 250 PBOs. All let's men pay trip to Dubai. Like we chartered an aircraft. The hotel we stayed, they knew we were there. The biggest so far in Africa. No company have done it. Go and do your research. No company have done it. Only P1. Only P1. No company have done it. What about cars? I told you we give out cars. Look at it. Look at all the cars. All the cars. Look at them. Everything. Ambassadors giving up brand new car, cars, is it cars? Everything you want is there. The latest ambassador, Antonia Obodo. If you watch what happened, the first one was Kia Picanto. From Kia Picanto, we went to Kia Rio. From Kia Rio, we came to Kia. Today is Hyundai Jeep Creta. Jeep. Upgrade. What about profit share? Is it profit share? Different profit share. Share profit with the company. You can see them there. Don't double date your man. This guy have Ibrahim. The story of Ibrahim. The story of Ibrahim. Those of us that are here, those of us that are coming for the first time, ask anybody that, was, that is here before to tell you the story of Ibrahim. He will tell you. The business is for everybody. No restriction. And apart from that, there's another way you can also make money. Just come in as a PBO. When you recruit five people, this is all you stand to benefit. Okay? When you develop five assistant managers, you become a manager. And these are your benefits. You will be recognized as a team manager. Okay? And at the end of the day, your bonus for that month is 144,000 Naira. Just by recruiting again. Did you sell land? No. What did you do? You recruit. I said your number one business you do in P1 is to what? Is to recruit. 
The senior manager at level four, develop five managers, you become a senior manager. And you'll be recognized as what? As a senior manager. Then your bonus is 360,000. Did you sell land? No, you did not sell land. Now the next one is develop five senior manager. When you develop five senior manager, your benefit is what? A marketing cap value at what? 2.7 million Naira. Still your recruitment that is giving you your point value that you are going to use to pay for house. The same point is still giving you this benefit. The same recruitment will still give you your indirect recruitment bonus. This company is wonderful. I'm giving it all to you. They become an Emirate manager, develop five Sapphire manager, you become an Emirate manager, okay? Your benefit is what? A rent subsidy worth 3 million Naira and a car fund of 6 million Naira. With 3 million Naira, can you rent a duplex in Lekki? If you were living in face, may I slap you before you move to a duplex? Because your level have changed, that's why the company will give you this money to upgrade your what? Your statue. And they buy a brand new car. They buy a car worth six million naira for you. The car worth six million naira. Has your, has your level changed? Yes. What did you do? You recruit. You recruit. Now the next one is what we call diamond manager. It said develop five Emirate manager, okay? And your benefit are what? A house worth thirty million naira. With the house worth 30 million, can you buy a house worth 30 million naira in around this area? Yes, yes. This kind of house you are going to buy, there will be AC everywhere with 30 million naira, with a, 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 a kitchen and a household furniture worth 10 million naira. You furnish your house with 10 million naira, or Juju will not pursue you in your dream in that house. Yeah. <laughs> no, but so when you are sleeping, you wear cockroach is flying. They say winch is pressing me. How will winch not press you when you are sleeping in everywhere? Where cockroach is flying everywhere. In this kind of house, when you sleep, you sleep. Even though if the winch come, they will come and tell your boy, they'll come and sleep under your duvet. Because there's a fear everywhere. They'll wake your boy, give me duvet, I want to hide though. You want to kill me. <laughs> okay, you want to kill me with AC for this your house. They say, now we can't kill you, but now you want to come kill us. I beg, make I hide under this duvet. Go to the enter kitchen, AC. The enter bedroom, AC. There's no way for them to start manipulating whatever they want to manipulate. AC everywhere. <laughs> okay, now, diamond director, diamond manager, as I was saying, let's go back there, uh, furniture, then a brand new car worth 15 million naira. Then all let pay pay trip vacation for family of what? Of five. Father, mother, and four kids. Father, mother, and four kids. And six million naira, Shopping money that the company will give you. With six million naira, if you travel to Dubai, you will not shop in Dara market. You will shop in Dubai more. <laughs> you shop in Dubai more. Because you can buy anything you want to buy for yourself in Dubai more with that money. Diamond director, benefit will be communicated to you, and all the privileges will be communicated to you. These are the things you need to do to succeed in P1. Now, this is the success cycle of P1. Business. It's such a cycle, okay? P1 business owner. When you become a P1 business owner, you become an assistant manager, manager, senior manager, sapphire manager, emirate manager, diamond manager, diamond director, and national director. It can take you five years or ten years to build this to become a diamond manager. Even if it takes you ten years to build to become a diamond manager, you will surely succeed in your business. I'm going to be rounding up here. I want to advise you. In network marketing business, you must learn how to work with your team. You must learn how to work with your team. Don't be selfish. Work with your team member to succeed in this business. As you are working with them to succeed in this business, what happened to you? You are succeeding in the business. Don't be so greedy. In network marketing business, if you are greedy, you will not succeed in this business. Most of us are so greedy in this business. Many people are greedy. Work with your teammates. Don't be greedy. Don't be like this uh, one uh, man that was praying. The man is from Africa. From Africa, from Nigeria. I don't want to mention the name of the state. He was playing, praying to God every day. God, bless me, bless me, bless me. God, now one day I said, okay, I'm going to bless you today. 
and he sent an angel to go and meet the man. He said, the angel now came to meet him. I said, this man, you have been disturbing me to bless you. God, I've finally answered your prayer. And God said, you should choose anything you want that he's going to give it to you. The man said, really? He said, yes. He said, I want half the banana island. I want to buy this thing. I want to buy the rough stuff. He started naming everything. The angel said, well, no problem. God is going to give you this. He now asked him, I said, you see that your neighbor, Papa Emeka, that is your neighbor. Whatever God is going to give you, he's going to give Papa Emeka times two. The man became confused. He said, I don't understand. You mean if I ask for one house in Banana Island and a car, Ranger Rats Sport, that useless Papa Emeka will get two houses in Banana Island and two Ranger Rats Sport? The angel said, yes. And he told the angel, say, oh, now wait. Give me time. Let me think. And the angel said, well, I will give you time. You know, they normally, those days, they say, I give you seven days. The man, seven days. The seven days, and I said, well, you are not ready. I'm going back. Don't disturb us again with your prayers, though. The man, I said, come, 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 okay, I'm ready to choose. Now, don't go, angel. said, he now repeated, he said, you mean, whatever I choose, that Papa and Mecca, you are going to give him times two. The angel said, yes. He said, okay, you know what I want? Blind one of my eye. When they blind one of his eye, what happened to Papa and Mecca? He swears to be blind. Some people are like that. It happens to me in real life. It happens to me. Let me tell you what happened. When we went to, how many of you know Alaba International Market? I went there to prospect. When we just joined P1, we set up Alaba office there. Went to start sharing flyers, sharing flyers, one on one marketing, engagement marketing. Talk to person one on one. I went to this, but you know they have money, those Igbo guys. I went to talk to one of them. Have so much money. And I explained the business to him and said, Sir, this is our flyer. This is that we have. And I said, Yes, I are that place. He said, And I told him, I said, When you bring a client to buy, you are going to get, then we pay 20%. You are going to get 20% commission. He said, Really? I said, Yes. He said, You mean if I bring somebody to buy this land? He said, I have people. He started calling instantly, was calling his friends. He's a big man. Una Emeka, there's this land in Ibejuleki, close to Dangote Refinery. Uh, they are selling it to our six millionaire. Will you buy? Buy. Yes. That one will say, okay, I will buy. It's coming from you. No problem. I will buy. He collect from. He called about five people that agreed to buy land. That, at the spot, we were able to generate 50 something million. And those people said, I will transfer this money to your account. As we were there, about one or two alert entered his phone. And I gave him a form. I was so happy. I said, ah. I said, they will pay you 20% of your commission. The man was so happy. He told me to shut up. I did not shut up. And I said, sir, when you, do you have people that used to disturb you for money? He said, yes. Don't mind that you left my cousin. Chidima, every time. Uncle said, so bring them. We'll teach them how to do this business. By the time we, we, we teach them and train them, they'll be doing the business. They'll go and start making sales. They will pay them 20%. He said, ah, that's good. I said, this is end deal. Because you bring them, they're going to pay you 5% because you brought them. He now told me, he said, Chiri. <laughs> <laughs> he said, hold on. He said, oh, nah. Hold on, oh. This 50 million now, they will pay me. I said, yes, they'll pay you 20%. I was still doing it. He said, what of the 5%? Who will collect it? I said, it's me because I brought you. He said, oh, nah, me there. <laughs> he said, me there. I said, you were, the way you were just talking for me, for me, fine boy, talking, blah, 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 blah. I know there was something behind it. <laughs> <laughs> I explained and explained and explained. He chased me out of his office. He said, I came to use his head <laughs> to make money. I said, what about your 20%? He said, I beg, as you go, how can, how can I collect his 5%? He said, it's 5%. He ends up not doing the business. That is it. Most people are like that. But if you want to succeed in this business, don't be like that. Okay, you are, all of you are shouting. How many of you want say you want to you want to make sure your clients will pay money? You go and register your born children and you put this under your daughter. What are we not talking about? Some of them will not even stop there. They'll put it under their daughter, their daughter, their daughter. You that did their upline, you get nothing. That is greediness. 
They said, register 18 years and above can do this business. I said, 18 years, you can go and prospect. My son used to prospect. My son prospect the gate man in their school. Gate man open gate for big people. Am I correct? And nobody can do it. When you have sales, put it on your Somebody wants to buy. He said, okay, I want to buy for myself. A, a partner, PBO. I want to buy. And that one you are selling seven thousand. Uh, you know, do me 1.5 million era. I want to subscribe. I say yes, you can subscribe. He now asked me, okay, she be you will pay me commission. I say no. It's the person who brought you that will earn commission because the person who register you are not buying with your name. The person will earn commission. He say, ah, really? I say yes. He dropped the phone and said, I'm not buying again. <laughs> no, people are like that. You are saying, ah, uh ah. -uh. Have you not seen such people before? Thousands of them. If you have that mindset, drop it today. Drop it today if you want to succeed in this business. Drop it today. Drop it today. Drop it today. And be ready to work with your teammate to succeed in this business. Because in this business, you must succeed in this business. What you have in your hand now, you have something in your hand to show to God. What you have in your hand is a PBO system, network business. It's a P1 business opportunity you have in your hands. P1 opportunity business. Stop praying to God every day. God bless me. Bless. God has already blessed you. He said, I will bless the work of your word. What do you have in your hand that you want to show God? Every day, fire, die, 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 die. You are praying. I want business. Every day you wake up, you are fasting. God bless me, you are fasting. Come and do business. You are fasting. You don't want to do business. Register. You are fasting. You are always starving yourself. Even when the children of Israel, when they got to the Red Sea, when Moses cried up to God, say, God, did you bring us here to perish? What did God say to Moses? What do you have in your hands? He said, a rod. That's the opportunity you have in your hand. And what did God say to Moses? He said, stretch out the rod. And Moses stretched it and divided the Red Sea. The children of Israel, they walked on dry land. Do you think God cannot divide that Red Sea before Moses get there? Why did he not divide it? You need to show God what you have in your hand. What you have in your hand is this business. And this business, you are going to qualify for your car. In this business, you are going to qualify for your house. As far as you are here today, by the time you talk to one, 10 will come. When you post your business on your social media anywhere, you will see response. People will respond to you. We will depopulate the kingdom of poverty. We will succeed in this business. I leave you here today. God bless you. All right. Do we have any questions? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do we have any question, please? Question. All right. Good. In the absence of.